Hey guys, welcome to day six of Booktubeathon. I kind of skipped out on a video yesterday. It was a really long hot day at work and I was not looking attractive, let me tell you. So I'm on to day six. We have one more day left, but I'm pretty excited because it's the weekend. So that means I can literally just sit in my house in the air conditioning and read all day long. So that's kind of what my plan is for today, to be honest. That's literally all I have planned out. I think I have to go grocery shopping but that's adult activity and I'm not feeling adult activity today at all. So as far as progress goes, um, let's see. I finished Life of Pi, loved it. I watched the movie last night, so there is one challenge like officially completed, so that's pretty exciting. I finished Jonathan Livingston Siegel, which is the book that is older than you challenge, so that is two books completed, two challenges completed. I might also use this as yellow on the cover because I'm not sure what my last book is going to be, if it's going to have yellow on the cover, but as of right now, this one is going to be a doubled up one. But this is amazing, just saying. This is the cutest little amazing life affirming book. Next I finished listening to The Outliers by Kimberly McCreet. I'm still kind of meh about it, but it was a book added to the challenge, so that's what that was, but that's three books down. I finally finished reading With Love From The Inside, which is a review galley that I have right now. I cried so many ugly tears over this book. I finished it yesterday and I was like bawling. So, so that's got to say something about the quality of the writing, but I will do probably a full review on this, if not a pretty detailed one in my wrap up for um, this, this thing that's going on, the readathon, the booktubeathon. So I'll talk more about that. So that is four books completed. Um, that one is my red after dark, after sunset book because I had it on my phone as a little galley that I had to like zoom in on the pages for. So the only adequate time I had to do that is when I literally was like lying in bed with my phone like right in front of my face. So that is how many challenges completed? Four, I think. And that is also my fourth book. So I mean, we're progressing, progressing right along. I currently am starting Gemini by Sonia Mukherjee? Mukherjee? I have no idea how to say that. I should probably get in touch with her and learn how to pronounce it. But this is a book about conjoined twins and I am pumped. I am already like maybe a quarter of the way through. I don't even know if you can see that, but I am really enjoying it. It's a really, really cool take on YA contemporary. So just starting this, this is probably going to be the book that I read cover to cover today. I also just started listening to The Girl on the Train, and I think this is going to be the book that I'm going to use as the challenge for the book that you discovered through BookTube, because I didn't really read adult contemporary books or adult mystery books at all until I started watching certain people and they started to kind of like hype it up in my mind. So that's what this book is going to be. I don't know if I'm actually going to finish it considering that I'm listening to the audiobook right now and I'm like on part two of nine, so I've got like hours to go. But maybe I'll just sit on my couch and play Candy Crush and listen to this. So this is going to be book, how many am I up to? Six, potentially. If I finish this in Gemini, that'll be six books for the challenge. So we're gonna see how today progresses and see if I can pick up like a really quick book and read it tomorrow to get seven books in. Who knows? And getting into the challenge for today, today's challenge was to take a literary road trip. And that's literally to like, go to locations of books. And this is harder than I thought because I remember stories a lot. Locations of stories were kind of hard for me to remember. I literally sat in my library and just stared at my shelves. So this is what I came up with. I'm gonna hop on a Greyhound bus with Mim from Mosquito Land and I'm gonna go to Caves Water. This was the one location that I really wanted to go to. So I'm gonna go down to Virginia and I'm gonna hang out with the Raven Boys in Caves Water and make besties with Blue because she seems like a really cool friend to have. And then I'm gonna hop on a lifeboat with a tiger. Yeah, see what I did there? I incorporated a book that I read. And you know, I'm just gonna like hop right on over to France because that's what you can do in a lifeboat. You can like cross an entire ocean because I mean, Pi did. And when I'm done in France, I'm gonna go over to England Get it? Another book that I'm reading. It's set in England. Do you get this? And while I'm in London, you know, I'm gonna hop on the night bus and go to Hogwarts. I can't really go on a road trip through literary locations without wanting to go to Hogwarts. So I'm gonna hang out at Hogwarts and I'm gonna hop on the Hogwarts Express and take it back to London. There's multiple modes of transportation in this book. And while I'm in London, I'm gonna touch a weird scarab thing that's gonna take me back in time. Yeah, you get this? transportation thing that I'm doing. It's time travel. 
And while I'm like in Victorian London with Stalker and Holmes there, I'm gonna catch a murderer and you know, I'm gonna like slay some demons that are going on in London. And then I'm gonna hop right on over to Wales and take a time loop back home. That's as far as I got with my book traveling, but I feel like I traveled through time and space. Not necessarily space, but I mean like spatial, spatial stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go read now. I just really wanna go read. That's all I'm thinking about. It's books on the brain right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed my road trip. I tried to incorporate modes of transportation of how I got from location to location. So I hope you guys are doing really good at the booktubeathon. We're in like the home stretch right now. So just read, read, read. And I hope you guys are reading some amazing books while you read, read, read. And I will see you guys in my next video.